Thompson. Now he's calling. Oh, yeah. Oh, and Mike Hunters is a scene typical of Mike Tyson. Hey, listen up here. Hey. They may call you Kid Dynamite. You mess with me, I'll put your fuse out. Bob Sapp has long had a reputation as a freak fighter with sold-out bouts, and as of 2018 his string of losses was 14 fights without a single win, and everyone has begun to forget that he was feared by Mike Tyson himself for refusing to fight him, and how Bob Sapp was before he decided to sell out and lose his every fight for money. In this episode you will see how intimidating Bob Sapp was and see his incredibly brutal knockout victories. Like and subscribe to the channel, my friends. Let's go. Let's start with this fight with the real K1 legend Ernesto Husted, four-time Grand Prix champion among super heavyweights. And this bout was Husted's next run at the Grand Prix in which he intended to win again and take the title. Bob Sapp, on the other hand, was literally brought in for the kill, and no one gave him a chance to win against such a master. From the first second the fighters get into a real fight, Sapp begins to press his opponent with his mass and tries to knock out such a titled opponent. Husted, in turn, hit powerful elbows and fought back on defense. Already at the beginning the blows to the legs of Ernesto Husted made themselves felt painful. But Sapp was not going to retreat, because Bob of that time did not give up at the slightest danger and in spite of the pain continued to fight. A few seconds later the fight literally turned into a beating. And when it seemed that Bob Sapp was no longer able to win he let the locks go forward and bombarded his opponent with an explosive series of sweeping blows. After the knockdown, Sapp did not let up and pounced on his opponent to finish the wounded beast. After securing his second knockdown, Sapp felt confident and literally beat Husted against the ropes with his second breath. An unexpected knockout victory from Bob Sapp may have been a fluke. And soon the fighters had a rematch, because Sapp's further opponent and the grind was Semi Shields and Ernesto could not miss the opportunity to get even for such an upsetting defeat for not even a base kickboxer. The scenario of the first fight literally repeated itself. Sapp used the same tactics and ran at his opponent picking up the punches as if he were a punching bag. Husted, on the other hand, managed to grope the giant beast's liver and put him down with precision body shots. Sapp folded in two and everyone thought he wouldn't get up. However, he found the strength to get up and continue the carnage. The dominance of Husted, however, continued as he relentlessly pounded away with his liver shot, mixing it with some quick hand punches and low kicks. But then the unthinkable happened. Bob Sapp waited for the right moment and hit a huge double of big punches, knocking Ernesto out cold. But it wasn't the end of the tug of war. After a while, Hust went on the offensive and almost made a comeback. But Bob was stronger and crushed the legend with his weight and squeezed him against the ropes and unleashed a horrible series of powerful kicks. He came out of the match the winner. In August 2003, Bob Sapp faced Ken Lee Puldo. This fight was an interesting outcome because Sapp intimidated Mike Tyson by knocking him out. Sapp started this fight on a major note. He hit the victim with a big knee and started to finish him off. However, Kim still managed to get his moment of glory and with a stiff left side kick. He stunned Bob Sapp and tried to take it to the next round. However, in the confusion, he missed himself and collapsed on the canvas. He's up and down, he goes again to jab the huge beast. And this time the huge Bob can't hold out and collapses to the floor like a skyscraper.
However, the huge beast still survives to the end of the round. Kim Leopoldo misunderstood the situation and started celebrating the victory, thinking that he had secured the Ko. However, the referee quickly put him to rest and told him to get ready for the second round. The second round saw a 180-degree turnaround, as Sap knocked him down and then began racing him around the ring, eventually knocking him out. Sap is all over Kimo. Kimo trying to stay on his... This Kimo's a tough character, though. After this fight, Sap challenged Mike Tyson himself to a fight and threatened to knock him out, to which Tyson said to sign a boxing contract. As a result, Tyson was offered a big sum for a fight with Bob Sap, but Iron Mike refused. Apparently, he was afraid of Bob Sap's beastly power. No one would have guessed at the time that Bob would end up as a punching bag. Next, we would like to show you an intimidating knockout in his bout with the equally huge Egg Bono. The Battle of Titans took place in 2003 in the same legendary K-1 promotion. Both fighters weighed over 400 pounds, and the fight was obviously not going to come down to the judge's decision. For the first time, Sap felt himself in the skin of his past opponents and was backing away from his huge opponent. <laughs> However, his change of tactics did not stop him from knocking out the big man with a mighty right. In June 2005, Bob Sapp took part in the one-day Grand Prix. His first opponent was Yoshihiro Nakao. Bob, with a slight modification of his technique, was able to keep his cardio and shoot his opponent for all the rounds, getting to the decision for the first time and taking the victory on points. In his second fight, he was faced by Haraki Hori, who wasn't very big, and Sapp decided to finish him off in the very first seconds. However, the Japanese withstood the onslaught and by the end of the round had already dominated himself. In the second round, everything came back to normal and Sap won by knockout. In his third fight of the night, Sap also won by decision, thus becoming the K1 Grand Prix champion and writing his name in history. Bob Sap would later learn that it's much easier to make money simply by giving up in the first seconds of a fight, rather than fight for the entire allotted distance. And he made the decision to become a showman with money, rather than a wasted fighter. Health and money was the main reason Sap went from being a nightmare to a clown, losing to everyone. Would you like to see how Sap crushed legends in MMA? If yes, leave your comments and give us your likes. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel.